Welcome back to the Heart and Home channel. We are back here for another eventful week on the DIY Barnuminium build. This week we are going to be putting in the rest of these purlins in this in this bay here and probably the finishing up the ones that are missing in that one. And then we are going to be putting up our last truss here, which should be pretty interesting. And then maybe if we're lucky, starting to square the whole thing up and getting ready for insulation and then finally sheet metal. It's going to be awesome. Let's get going. Hard hat is great for multiple reasons. Uh, when it's really windy out, it, it doesn't blow around and, and rip like my one made of straw. And oddly enough, it more often than not protects my head from stupidly running into things rather than things dropping on my head. I think probably the one that it saved me the most from is just running it into my car door. That's been awesome. Uh, so I highly recommend having one. They're pretty great. Uh, I prefer white just because that has the least amount of solar gain of all the colors would definitely recommend it okay so first up on the list is getting the rest of these purlins in this one is a little bit spaced further apart than the rest of them have been thus far so we're going to continue to probably have to strap these in a bit and i think it should work out all right Okay, we are back for what is hopefully the very last lift day. I've got a few things I need to do before my dad gets here, like take these chains and put them up to the post there and run those down to our brackets so that that thing doesn't fall over. And I need to put this last bay of the scaffolding up there on top. And I also need to correct the bend in this post temporarily until we get the notches cut out over here. I did run into one issue yesterday. There's one wall that is an inch longer than the others. So we are gonna have a little bit of an interesting time uh, getting the sheet metal to fit properly on the back wall. But uh, I think it has a little bit of give. So if I bend each one just a little bit, that should uh, make it work out just fine. some ratchet straps I highly recommend them they are so useful I literally use them for everything so you can see right here I am strapping it around this here using it to pull this purlin back so that I can line it up properly with the truss they are super useful like I use them every day they might be the most useful thing I have on the on the job site
you can see in our last bay, got all the purlins done. Now I just need to move the scaffolding and get the purlins for bay four and bay two all finished. There's four on each of the tops uh, there that I still have left to do. And then, um, then after that, I think I'm gonna start doing the spacers on the edge there and the outside. And then we'll get going. Having just a touch of fun today. Took a little bit of time and set up the floor plan with some blocking here. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll go on a quick little tour here. So for those of you who haven't seen it yet, we'll start, start here. This is going to be bay number three. So we've got garage door, garage door. Bay number three, this is gonna be our main door, main man door here. So you come in. And then the front door is right here. So you come in, and then we got a hallway right down here, and it continues on. This is bedroom number one, number two, and number three. And then right here we have our washer dryer and utilities. It's a pretty tall ceiling right there, so we'll have lots of good room there. Come in. Things to the wall, then you take a left, and everything's right here. We got, we'll probably put our TV and stuff right here, couches right there. This will be the whole kitchen area. It's about like 14 by 10. And then we're hoping we can afford a wood, a wood burning stove right here. And then over here, we've got, this will be uh, the bathroom for most people. And then right here is our bedroom. So we come in here, and then we'll have the unheated master closet right here. It's 10 by 12. And then here's our bathroom. So we'll probably have like a barn door right here or something like that. Come in, have minor Whitney sink over here, and then the other sink over here. Shower will probably be right around here. And then we've got the toilet closet right here. So, yeah, it's pretty simple, but I am pretty happy with how it's turning out. I think the space is gonna work out pretty well. Glad I took the time to set this all up. It's, uh, it's fun to see how everything's coming along, especially with the sort of uh, ceiling coming in now. It's a lot easier to understand what the space is really gonna feel like. Wow, what a great week. It feels so awesome to have this final truss up and be really starting to see the completed roof starting to take shape. That feels awesome. I cannot wait to complete the framing for this phase of the build. I'm having a great time. This may be slow to most, but I am pretty happy with my progress given that this is my first time building, and especially an entire home, mostly by myself. If you found this helpful or entertaining, please hit that thumbs up button as it helps us a great deal. If you're into home building, DIY, light home setting, or the debt free lifestyle, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell for the notifications when we publish videos in the future. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll see you guys next time.